I have a whole mini print farm of Bamboo Lab printers, but they might not be the best choice if you're starting right now. Here's why. When you're 3D printing, you wanna be as efficient as possible, especially when it comes to print times and waste. If you're just doing a single color print, it's pretty simple. It just comes down to the speed of the printer. But when you're doing multicolor prints and it keeps doing hundreds and hundreds of filament swaps, as you can see, it sits idle for a long time and there's a whole lot of waste. Prusa had a pretty solid idea by having five separate tool heads, but this thing costs like $4,000. So I'm guessing right now, 99% of color 3D printing comes from AMS units, either Bamboo's Original, Bamboo's Light, or newly released printers like the Creality K2 Plus that also comes with the CFS unit. And just like Bamboo printers poop, so does the Creality. Even the A1 and the A1 Mini have little mini poops. Optimizing print time per item means fill that plate up as much as you can. Filament changes are based on layers and how many different colors or filament types there are on each layer. So if you have a really complicated, really colorful model, you might have one or two or three filament changes per layer. That really adds up. And one interesting thing about it, it doesn't matter if you're printing a single item or a plate full of 50 items, the amount of poop and filament changes is identical. No change whatsoever. Yeah, I'm a nerd, so what? To make this as even as possible, we have Bamboo Lab on the left, we have Creality on the right, and I've set their flushing volume multiplier to one, so they are the same. But if you notice, the numbers for Bamboo are still lower than Creality, so Creality is going to flush more overall, but we can fit about 12 of these McGuybeer Red Pandas on the Creality plate. I could probably fit more if I really wanted to puzzle piece them together. And over on the bamboo side, we can fit about six. And that is set to the X1 Carbon. It's not set to the A1 Mini. Both of these are set to the default 0.2 millimeter layer height standard profiles. And you can take a look at this screenshot if you want it, but I'm about to break it down. Showing that our filament changes are equal. On the bamboo side, we have 290 on the Creality side, we have 297, so as good as equal. On the Bamboo side, we have a total print time of 18.8 .8 minutes. That comes out to 1,088 minutes. Divide that by six for a print time of three hours, one minute per Red Panda. Our model is going to take 175.47 grams of filament total. Divide that by six. Each one is going to be 29.25 grams. Our waste filament is 119.04 grams flush plus 20.02 for the tower, that means a total of 139.06 grams of wasted filament on the Bamboo Lab. So that 139 gram total of wasted filament comes out to 23.18 grams each when you divide it by six. Comparing that to the Creality side of things, our 12 red pandas are gonna take 23 hours, 14 minutes, which comes out to 1,394 minutes. Divide that by 12 and we get one hour, 56 minutes print time per red panda. Also on the Creality side, we can see that we have a total of 336.27 grams of filament used for the models. Divide that by 12, they are 28.02 grams each. Compare that to the 29.25 grams on the bamboo side. They're a little bit lighter and we do have the same amount of infill, the same type of infill, all that good stuff. And just for clarity's sake, the reason that could be off is because 3D printers print filament based on distance, not based on weight. Different filaments can have different densities, so that's probably where the weight discrepancy comes in. Again, on the Creality side, our waste filament is 181.31 grams flush, plus 19.71 for the tower. That brings us to a total of 201.02 grams of filament wasted. Divide that by 12 items, and it's 16.75 grams per item, considerably less than the 23.18 grams on the bamboo side. So what in the world does all that mean? In this example with these items on here, the Creality is 1.6 times faster per item. The Creality produces 28% less waste per item, or the Bamboo produces 38.4% more waste per item. If you want to print 1,000 items, the Bamboo can do it in 3,116 hours. The Creality could print that same 1,000 items in 1,933 hours. In the time it takes for the Bamboo to print 1,000 items, the Creality could print 1,560 items.
Then we bring energy efficiency into the mix. Mwah! In a previous video, we found that the Creality consumes more energy than the Bamboo does on a second, minute, whatever basis, printing the same job. It was a single color, one item print. So the Bamboo Lab had an advantage there. But taking the build plates into consideration and the number of items that you can fit on them, the Creality takes the lead by quite a bit. So even though it consumes more energy per minute, it can print faster, it can print a batch considerably faster, it has less waste overall so it's easy to think hey if I have a print farm of these and they're all taking 50% more energy that's a waste but no if you're keeping them running 24 7 at capacity filling that build plate up the Creality is considerably more efficient